Welcome back. Uh, I don't know if you've seen what's going on over there. Have a look at, have a look at Jamie Oliver's sous chef in action. That's what we're talking about. You look like a very unconvincing Sikh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what are you going to be doing for us in this part? Are you going to cook something else for us, Jamie? Look at him chopping. <laughs> <laughs> you do it like a maniac. I've seen you do it. Uh, Jamie, what are you going to do for us next? OK, it's, it's a really important British delicacy. Who remembers wagon wheels? Yes. So it's a really good little cheat. Okay. You're going to love it, honestly. Wagon it's wheels, so much yeah. better than the mulled wine and the wine yeah. and everything wagon else that I've done I today. love fireworks, dude. Yeah. OK, we're going to come back over. We're going to catch up with you <laughs> on the wagon wheels in a minute. <laughs> Let's get my next guest out. Uh, I love watching her on TV. I love her on stage. But most of all, I love her because she's a bigger fan of dogs as I am. Will you please welcome the fabulous Sheridan Smith? <laughs> I'm so thrilled you're here, Sheridan. I wanted to have you on the show Hi, for a long Jonathan. while. Because I follow uh, I follow Sheridan on Twitter. I don't know if anyone's on Twitter here, but Sheridan's uh, quite prominent on Twitter. And I was uh, horrified. It was a while back. Your dog was stolen. Your dog went missing. She was. She was stolen. It was thanks to Twitter that I got back. Wow. And this, was, this wasn't your pug. You have a pug. I have a pug called Barry Manilow. OK, well, of course. <laughs> And a Sharpe called Enid. It was Enid that went missing. I don't know if I know we have a picture of I think we have a picture of Barry Manilow. Oh, there's your picture. Oh, no, there's Enid. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so you went, someone had taken oh, There's this. Barry. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's not dressed up special. That's how he dresses all year round. <laughs> um, and so and someone had stolen the dog or he was just lost? Yeah, or? yeah. There was, he was, she was stolen from my garden and um, I put it on Twitter and Twitter went mad and kind of retweeted it. And then Chris Moyles mentioned it on his radio show, and Philip Schofield showed a picture on this morning, and an hour later, she got dumped. And did you... So, so someone just brought her back and just dumped her? It, it got too hot a dog to handle? Not my house. They dumped her at an animal shelter, and then they ran And then me. they went... How long? Yeah. It's a great end of the story, though. That's a, nice a lovely, Christmas story. But who would steal a dog? What kind of person would steal a dog? <laughs> Are you getting at this because of the... Yes. Because oh, no, I, don't I, I understand when you were young, you stole a dog. Is this right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we weren't allowed a dog when I was growing up, and, um... We were allowed strays. If we found a stray, we would take it home and have it. But they were always quite old and eventually they'd pass away. And then... <laughs> so there was a period where I didn't have a dog, so I would go into the neighbours' gardens and take their collars off and pretend they were strays. <laughs> <laughs> we'd give them back, cos it's a very small village. Mm. They knew it was me, so. funny how fast your <laughs> Funny how fast your sympathy for someone can dry up and disappear. <laughs> 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 no, uh, so it's nearly Christmas. <laughs> have you done all your Christmas shopping? Any last-minute shopping to do? Are you no. going to head home to see your folks, I guess? Definitely going home for Christmas. It's the only time that I get time off, so I'm going to be driving up the M1. And your mum and dad were in show business, I believe. They were. One? They're a country and western duo. Okay. Do they still perform? They do. Every Wednesday at Bentley Top Club. <laughs> <laughs> and you used to perform with them when you were little, didn't you? I did, yeah. So what kind of musical numbers did you do as a family? Um, I would do songs... Well, I was only allowed to go with them when, you know, obviously children were allowed in the club, so I'd sing songs like they don't make them like my daddy anymore. So yeah, sweet songs, yeah, sweet tug on the songs. Yeah. Uh, We have some footage oh, no, of you performing no, with your mum and dad. my mum will have sent this and I'm going to lose all street credit yeah, if I have yeah. any. OK, we should mention, so the, the oh, they're no. called the Daltons when they perform. Yeah, okay, they're so, brilliant. So what's the Daltons? Is that your real family name, Dalton? No, or? no, I don't know actually where that came from. It's my mum and dad, uh, the double act, and my dad plays guitar, my mum plays bass, and I sometimes used to sing with them when I was very little. I love that. So you grew up going to the club, seeing the performing yeah, clubs? Yeah, that yeah, That must have been great. It was amazing. They were gigs seven nights a week when me and my brothers were growing up. That's wow. how they brought us up. And you would sing with them. OK, we have uh, Sheridan doing a song yeah, with yeah. mum and dad, with the Daltons here, and it's a particularly festive song. I think you'll agree. Have a look at this. Oh, Bye. 
beautiful sentiment for Christmas, Sheridan. I've never even heard that song before. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. <laughs> um, that's quite a lovely moment. I'm very red. So they still perform? They do still perform, yeah, not as much as they used yeah. to. But, but that's great, how yeah. great. So uh, let me ask you about the film in a moment, because it's a film that opens at New Year's Day, and this is directed by uh, Dustin Hoffman. It's called yeah. Quartet. That must be... Had you met Dustin Hoffman before? He came to see the play that me and Sen Sienna were in and uh, came backstage afterwards and was very lovely and emotional. He's quite an emotional man. And then the next day he rang and said, do you want to, do you want to be in my film? Wow, that So, yeah, nice. it was a real, real And do you... Job. I mean, you've worked with so many people. Do you get intimidated when you meet him and another cast? The rest of the cast got Billy Connolly's in it, Tom oh, Courtney. Yeah. And there we see it's Dame Maggie Smith as well, who, you know, is just one of the greats. That must be... Had you worked with her before ever? Oh, no, it was acting royalty, you know. I wanted to kind of curtsy every day when I went on set, so I was in awe of them. But the whole film is... all the, It's set in a retirement home for retired opera singers and all the extras and supporting artists, Dustin insisted, were actual retired opera singers and musicians. So you can imagine the stories on set and I was just like a sponge taking it all in. And he's also a great pianist, so they'd be jamming in between takes and it was a really special film to so be involved cool. so in. So going to work knowing you're going to be A with Dustin Hoffman and, Max, and also he's going to be playing piano for you, that's, that hardly, that seems like so much fun. It was amazing and, and Dame Maggie, and, I mean, it was just incredible to And have you seen the finished film? Have your parents seen it yet? Yeah, they did. They came. They made a big fuss of Billy Connolly because he's a banjo player, so they had a country and western chat all night. But no, it's a brilliant film. Brilliant I love brilliant. the fact that they've got everyone there and they're going to Billy Connolly because he's a banjo player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look. This is a clip from Quartet. As we said, it opens New Year's Day and it's got an incredible cast alongside Amazing. Sheridan. It. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get the grey pound, as they say, isn't it? It's like Marigold Hotel. Uh, and what about, you know, we were talking about you going home for Christmas. Do you cook? I mean, do you do that kind no, of stuff? No, I don't. I was telling Jamie earlier he's going to try and find me a man who can cook, because I can't cook at all. So you're single at the moment? Yeah. Wow, well, how does that happen? <laughs> oh, you're lovely. You're a dilf. <laughs> oh, I can't say that, can I? You have to cook. You have to cook. Don't try and bring about the cooking. <laughs> now you've opened up this whole can of worms. <laughs> Um, OK, so we're going to cook now. We're going to go over because okay. uh, Michael has proven himself to be a whiz in the kitchen. Jamie said he's going to do a wagon wheel, so let's go over okay. and I'm Please hoping do. Sheridan... Come, come. Will you join me in saying thank you to Sheridan thank Smith for a lovely you. chat, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. And then we're going to see what Jamie's got <laughs> cooking for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that looks good, though, doesn't it? You can do it! Okay. Ladies and gents, this is the most complicated recipe I've ever done on national TV. <laughs> we, have, uh, we haven't got any pans, so we've got chocolate melted over a hot water bottle. Wow. <laughs> We've got some toasted coconut, which you can buy already done. We've got some rich tea biscuits. <laughs> then a little marshmallow. <laughs> and then I just put it in. Are you sure you don't always Shh. use the microwave? Three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> You've got to get it. You've got to get it before it's gone everywhere. And then we've got that little moment. A little That's Nigella right. moment oh, going on there. Lovely. Why is that a Nigella moment? Because it's all filthy around the rim. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Nigella. <laughs> I love, I love Nigella. I love you, and you're gorgeous and brilliant. Would you mind? <clears throat> right. Just dip it all round in chocolate. Is, it, is this for more then... authentic, yes. authenticity? Oh, <laughs> you fish it out with that, Sheridan. Can Let Sheridan get out. She's got a, a slotted spoon. Let me try. You can see how quick it is, everyone. Oh, there will be people all around the country doing this. Drop it in, Jamie. What do we do? We drop this in the coconut. Oh, yes, yes. Look, I can see yes, you. Yes. yes. Here's something made earlier. Yeah. Sheridan, would you like... Oh, good girl, mm, Sheridan. She's yes. working at it. She can cook. This. Now, now bathe. Now what to do? Bathe. 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 Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Oh, and then at the end product... <laughs> don't do it. Wow. There you go. Just grab That's yeah. it. And then just know. simply put it in your mouth, Michael. What? Oh, I don't like sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Put it all on my finger. She's covered in chocolate. Well, I have a sink. Thank you. Who would like a wagon wheel? Oh, God, Mark. OK, <laughs> let's have a bite. OK. <laughs> Can I lick the bowl, Jamie? Yes, go for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Join, me. <laughs> <laughs> Join me after the break. Uh, we'll have more cooking going on over here, and I'll be chatting to the wonderful Sienna Miller over there, so don't go away. Mm.